On the Health Watch tonight, do cell phones cause or contribute to cancer? A lot of people worry about this, and two big new government studies find the risk is probably small. Researchers exposed rats and mice to radio frequency radiation for roughly nine hours a day for up to two years. They found a higher incidence of heart tumors in the male rats, but not in female rats or in any of the mice. All right, Dr. Malcolm Marshall's here now. How, how much radiation were these animals exposed to? So the ones that tended to develop these heart tumors were exposed to higher levels of radiation than even someone who uses their cell phone with heavy use would okay. be exposed to. That said, we still can't say definitively that cell phones are completely safe. So while we continue to try to tease that out, some things that you can do to limit your exposure to radiation are to text instead of calling. Please don't call me. I'm, I'm a texter. <laughs> Uh, keep the phone away from your head and your body, especially when you're doing things that require more radiation. So streaming, downloading documents, you want to carry your phone in a purse or a backpack instead of in your bra. You know, a lot of ladies put it in the bra, huh. men in the holster, men in the pocket, keep mm. it out of those places. Don't sleep with your cell phone too close to you. Keep it at least at arm's length. And then, you know, we always worry about children with developing brains. Encourage them to use the speaker, f speaker phone or the speaker feature instead of putting the phone to their heads. I don't know about you, but like, even if I tell my kids to put the phone to their head, they, won't do they don't know, they don't understand. They'd rather just run around <laughs> and yell. <laughs> right, with the speaker. Good advice. All right, how about a glass of wine to protect your brain against Alzheimer's disease? Researchers at the University of Rochester found that mice exposed to low levels, we underline low levels of alcohol, had less inflammation in the brain and were more efficient at removing brain waste, including the toxins associated with Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so how much alcohol here? Okay. What's so, the low level? Lo in this case, they were talking about, say, for example, wine, like two and a half glasses. Now, remember, a glass of wine is only four to five ounces. Okay, that's so still it's not, ten ounces. It's still a lot. And so, especially when we talk about moderate use with women, we're usually talking about a drink a day. So it still seemed like a little bit more alcohol than I would generally recommend women, for example, have a day. That said, we know that low to moderate use of alcohol might reduce the risk of heart disease, might reduce the risk of certain types of cancer, now possibly reduce the risk of dementia. Heavy alcohol use, on the other hand, can do just the opposite and increase the risk of heart disease and cancer and brain dysfunction. So you just have to be really careful. So yes, I'm going to go home and have a glass of wine. If you are not a drinker, this does not mean that you should start drinking. But if you like to enjoy an occasional drink, it's probably okay. Feel good about it. Right. And do a crossword. <laughs> thank right. you, Doctor. Liam. Lisa and Doctor, thank you very much.